the battery life of Apple's phones has never been that good, but at least the iPhone 6 managed to bring things up to the level of other Android phones. However, it still wasn't long enough to last the whole day, and the iPhone 6S Plus actually seems to have managed to go a little bit backwards. That's partly down to the smaller battery pack that's been shoved in there, to accommodate for the extra circuitry of the 3D Touch. As such, even with the more efficient A9 chip and the upgraded iOS 9 platform, the iPhone 6 and 6S last for roughly the same amount of time. At least the new version of iOS brings an enhanced battery saving mode, cunningly called low power mode, which will turn off Siri listening to you all the time and background activity, but it's not enough to make this an industry-leading battery by any stretch of the imagination. T3 Verdict If you're someone stuck with the iPhone 5s or, whisper it, earlier, you'll be badly wanting a new iPhone, and the iPhone 6S is the best Apple handset that's ever been made. It's not a huge claim though, as if Apple didn't make its best phone this year we'd have a really worrying situation at the Cupertino firm the big upgrade on offer is the 3D touch interface, which quickly feels like second nature when you've used the phone for a few days. Live photos fails to impress in the way Apple probably hoped, and the improvements to the chassis seem a bit unnecessary, merely there to prove that nothing is going to bend this year. If there'd been something tangible to grab onto with the new iPhone, a longer lasting battery, a higher rest screen, then perhaps it would have been easy to recommend this model without question. But even still, if you're an iPhone fan then there's no question which is the right one to go for, with the 6S offering future proofing a really fun new interface to play with.